it's time for Takeout Tuesday, and this week's menu features authentic New Orleans cooking being served up right here in the D, and we figured that's the perfect fit for Mardi Gras. And we are joined by <laughs> Chef Ashley Bailey from Louisiana Creole Gumbo. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Yes. How are you ladies? Happy Mardi Gras. Of course, happy yes. Mardi Gras. This is definitely uh, a day to be celebrated. Yes. So let's yes. talk about this first. How would you describe the Creole and Cajun cooking styles? Um, they are similar, but they are actually different. Right. Um, they are brought together in a lot of New Orleans dishes mm -hmm. because they are married together. Mm -hmm. So you have some that are more spicy and have more richer uh, flavors, mm -hmm. and then you have some that's a little bit more lighter. It's just about what part of New Orleans you're from mm -hmm. to know where you're gonna really get those. Okay. Flavors. So what are some of the traditional kind of styles or servings of that? Um, styles, I would say you would get a lot of uh, fried things, so I'll tell you, a lot of stewing mm -hmm. products. Uh, a lot of things are like covered and smothered in a lot of things, as we like to call it. Mm, yeah. uh, yes, you can so, see a lot of the yeah, covered and a lot of things. Yeah. So, so we got go a lot through, of slow cooking too. Nice. So. Let's go through some of these. What do we mm -hmm. have here? Okay, so today we have our classic jambalaya with shrimp. Um, and of course we have our desserts. Where we have a sweet potato uh, pie. Lord we also have peach cobblers, seven and pound and cake. And that's everything right here. Yep. Yeah. That's here. And then we also have a promotional item that we're doing for the rest of this month, which is our peach dream, which is this lovely dish Lord right here. Oh. Yes. Oh. yes. That looks like a dream, doesn't oh. it, AJ? Yes. And that looks so good. I'm going to taste while you guys. Yes, yes. please do. Yeah. Please do. <laughs> yeah, please. Now, Go today, ahead. you're going to make a, a shrimp po' boy sandwich a for us. A shrimp po' boy, of and course. course. And of, I, I love a good po' boy. Well, mm. So now you are already working on the shrimp, and you're about to assemble it. What are the steps needed? OK, so basically, you want to start off with a nice French loaf. Uh, you want to make sure that you get it all nice butter and mm -hmm. a nice crust on it. So we're going to go ahead and toast it off and just burn it off. Mm -hmm. So I'm there. Uh, as you see that I had the shrimp going, I put some more of our uh, special seafood blend to it. Now I will tell you what it is, but then... I was just about to say. I was just about to say. I was just going to tell us what's in it. Told you, right. but, but you have a beautiful golden <laughs> yes. uh, baguette right here yes, already. So already, you take that. already. Just take that, okay. and you just basically want to assemble. Po boys are not really uh, hard to assemble. They're basically the po boy, which is right. basically the scraps of everything that was left. Mm -hmm. So we take a few shrimp, a few tomatoes. We're gonna add a few uh, pieces of spinach here wow. on that. Right? Is there like one key thing that you have mm -hmm. to have in a po boy? Ooh, make sure you got your seasoning and your crusted bread. Okay. Those, okay, so okay. don't mess up on okay. those. Okay, no, yeah. the bread is, the bread is gonna make it. But, okay, right. so I'm just gonna go ahead and add that right on on there. Okay. Wow. And then also we're gonna top this off with a Cajun rim lot now. Ooh. Yeah. This looks fat Oh, Of course. Mm -hmm. Let me hold this up. Uh, uh, I know, I'm I about, about to, like, let me hold this for the camera. Yeah. Let's get a shot of this, and I'm just gonna hand this over yeah, we also to AJ. Have more. Look at that, yeah. that's beautiful. So yeah. tell us about the history of the recipes that you're using at Louisiana Creole Woo. Gumbo. We understand that they date back to decades. Yes, they actually do. Our uh, recipes go back as far as the early 1900s. Uh, our owner got the recipes from his mother and from his mother, so it's just been kind of passing on. That's pretty much how traditions go on. Okay. And so we haven't, d you know, decided to change anything. We just kept going with it. Well, so like, why change perfection? Like, like they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's it's right. Working. That's right. All right. That's right. So, do you see what I'm trying to do? Yes. Oh, my God. She told me she'll I'm give me the to, vibes like, give of the her deliciousness. The food, the yes. <laughs> rub, yes. it on, rub it on yes. her. Rub it on her. So really quickly, where are your restaurants located? Well, we have three different restaurants. We have uh, one on Grasher and St. Auburn. We have another one on Seven Mile and Schaefer and a new location on 13 Mile and Orchard Lake. Oh my God, it smells yes. so good in here. I yes. can't right now. Thank you for being on the show, Chef Ashley. Thank we appreciate you. Thank you so you. much. Thank, Thank you goodness, so much. It smells good.